Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. I still be using limited colors my palette and I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors my palette because I want you to learn the mix and get, and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using um, burnt china, you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark or look like black. And if you're and I recommend use uh, that you use burnt umber and raw umber. Okay, and I'll be and these are my brushes. I'll be using three brushes only, and I have here um, number eight nylon flat brush, long handled. Number seven nylon flat brush, short handled, and number uh, zero liner brush for the details. Okay. And this is my canvas, it's um, 10 by 8 inches, it's, th it's a 3 cuts of prime white acrylic, and also here so I made it myself. And water to thin the paint. And I have here water spray if we're gonna need to wet our canvas, and if it, it will be easier for us to, to, to blend the colors. Okay, so today I'm going to paint a proton plant. So it is a, uh, a colorful plant and in the Philippines we used to call this um, San Francisco. I'm not sure, yet, I'm not really sure but my my mother used to call that when I was a kid. Actually we have a plant um, like this at home in our garden. So I hope you, and if, if you are painting with me just follow what I'm doing and I hope you get something out of the tutorial and you can actually paint your own following this tutorial. Okay, so good luck guys and have fun painting okay so i think i'm gonna start now and first we need to yes i'm going to start now and thank you for someone um who who suggested me to paint this um, plant actually this will be fun to paint because of its colors and also love to, love to paint this one okay so i'm going to paint first the stock or the the I uh, need to paint first the the trunk. So I'll be using first the number seven flat brush, short handle, and I'll be using a dark color, which is the raw umber. So here, and I'm gonna put some blue here and yellow. Let me make it dark. It should be dark color here, or you can use directly the umber. You don't need to mix it with other colors. So here, I think I'm gonna put here from there. Okay. So Actually, that's just too big. There. So I think that will be a good size. Because um, cotton plants usually have very big leaves, so that's why we need to put more space to the top so that it won't um, overflow on our canvas. Or I'm not sure what you're gonna call that. So here I'm gonna use um, number eight flat brush. It's a bigger brush now. It's a medium sized brush and it is a long handle. Then I'm gonna mix for a lighter green first. I'm um, gonna paint the background color first of the plants and 
a shield sword with a scroton plant um, the top plants have or the younger ones the younger leaves I mean not plant younger leaves um, has a lighter colors like um, lighter green so we're gonna use the lighter green I'll be using the yellow and the blue here so we're now mixing the blue and the yellow to make some right lighter green I love this green so here actually it's not because of our background you cannot really see it, it but that's fine that's okay Hopefully we'll do the details later, but I think I'm gonna make that a little darker. So I'm gonna add more blue and yellow. So that we can still see it. That's it. Now I'm gonna put more plant and uh, more leaves. Okay, and also another leaf here. Do not worry, guys, we're gonna do the, the details later. Okay, so that's all with the green leaves, and I'm gonna put the red leaves now, or the orange one. It has really different types of it's just like an autumn leaves with uh, different colors like yellow orange and red so i'm gonna use the red now and the yellow so it should be a little darker You can also use a pure red uh, leaves. is really nice <laughs> can put more leaves here on the back actually just have to play the plants the shape of the plants the leaves or whatever using now the darker green color so I'm gonna use the red no I'm sorry the blue the red and the yellow there it should be dark so here 
I'm going to cover some. On the back part. There. Touch it. Okay. There. About that, then we're gonna add, start adding some details. Oh, this will be. Uh, one of the most exciting part of this tutorial is to add details on our painting. So the detail the details would be something like yellows. So we're gonna use some yellow here and white to make it more opaque. I'm gonna need a little red. here just create line something like this and I think I'm gonna make this a little dark if you want to use a smaller brush you can use it something detail some details like this one there okay then we're gonna use a smaller brush now this is the number zero liner brush for a smaller details So we'll be using this Saronator sort of brush and still be using the same color. So you can do a detail something like this one. There. That's it, I have some details. And I'm going to add more, a little details here with some orange color tones. Okay. I think I'm going to add more yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna add more and I'm going to use a lighter green here. I'm gonna add white and a, a green existing light green color and this one here I'm gonna put some detail. Uh, 
Ano dito? Ano 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 highlights on the edge of the plant. Then you can put a little detail like this one. The veins of the plant. Okay. There. And I'm going to use again this color, the yellow. It's now a pure yellow. Then we're going to put some more detail here. Okay. And I'm going to put some more detail, something like this. But it's pure yellow color. There. And also here on the, on the bottom. So, another one more detail here. So, I'm gonna add yellow on this, on the back of this plant, on this leaf. And then, one detail, some curves. that you can also add a little small details on this part here okay okay that's it and I'm going to add more white I'm gonna make this plant here, I'm gonna add a lighter color on the edge of the leaf there okay then I'm gonna move here I'll be using a yellow color and I'm going to add a yellow color on this part okay And I'm going to use the red and the yellow again. Then let's add another vein on the back. There. And one more detail. Okay. 
Panchitla. Ok. Ok. And I'm going to add more orange on that part. Some orange. nice and also here okay what else so of course this one we're gonna do the same so I'll be using another yellow with some orange to make it darker and let's do something like this little curves for the details of the plant there and another curve here that's it I'm going to add some more details. So if you're painting with me now, just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy. There. I'm not sure if it, if it, if it looks nice. So here, I'm going to use some darker colors. Let's gonna do this one also. So first we're gonna get to the some lines and it's uh details like this. Same thing that we did a while ago, but you can add more light here. You can add more orange. Or whatever. Okay. Some has darker yellow shades, so you can put more yellow like this one here. I'm going to put more yellow here. Now you can now see clearly in the little details and okay, some colors on the on the on the plant. I told you it's just a very easy tutorial for the beginners. So I hope you get something of this. And you can paint with your own. So I'm gonna uh, I also have here some orange. It's a little red orange, so I'm gonna put more red and yellow. And I'm gonna put one here. And 
another curves. And again, I'm going to use the yellow for this one here. I'm going to make the entire half of this leaf, um, everything uh, yellow. I just have to put shades here. And on the other half, I'll just have to put some details. There. Okay. And this one here, I'm gonna mix for some orange, but I'm gonna refill some yellow. yellow and red to make some orange so here again there I'm gonna also use some pure red some veins of the leaf And also the other one. And I'm going to use some red. Okay, I think we're almost done and I think, yeah, it looks nice for me, <laughs> but we need more, I need more yellow, so I'm going to use more yellow for this part here. Actually guys, you do not need to make it perfect, you just have to make it look real, so I'm gonna use yellow, more yellow on this plant here, on this, on this leaf here. Also here, I'm gonna put more yellow. Okay. 
that's it. So I am now retouching. I am now actually retouching, guys. So if it's up to you if you wanna see it finish or if you're done, it's all up to you. So I'm gonna add more yellow here to make this um, more realistic. There, I'm gonna use more yellow. part here there and also here make this um, lighter okay make it more happier another yellow I recommend using um opaque yellow guys don't use um you can still also, even also use um translucent but it will be it will be difficult for you to add a strong details like this one or solid colors like this one okay more yellow Okay. And not just yellow but red. So we're gonna add more red. So there are parts that we should add also some red leaves. No red leaves, yeah I mean. So I think I'm gonna make this red. We need a little shade of green. So here I'm gonna put some shades of red. There you go. Another shades of red. So I think I'm gonna put also some shades of red here. So far, I love the result, I like the plant. I hope you like it too, guys. So I think I'm gonna add more details, like some shades. So I'm gonna use some black here, no, uh, the raw umber. But, uh, 
uh, what they call this blue and yellow to make some dark greens and let's add some shade here on the ground I'm gonna use the raw umber there And now I'm gonna add some more shadows. So I'll be using the raw umber, the blue, and the yellow there. Raw umber, and here I'm gonna make this darker. That's it. Can add more. Can also add here some darker tones. There. Okay. Now oh, that looks realistic. And also, I'm gonna use more yellow and blue. And let's add some dark here. Darker green. Okay, about that. And here. So I have a little darker details. Yes. And of course we're gonna put some plants on the on the ground. So I'll be using more yellow and white here I'm gonna add more blue and yellow Okay. And I'm going to make this a little bluish color here so that you can see clearly on the on the on the plants. So I'll be using more white and of course blue. I'm gonna make it lighter. I thought it's some part of the sky. I just want to make this part of the leaves uh, more visible.
here, of course. I'll be using a bigger brush, which is the number 8 cloth brush. There. And I'll also some blue. Okay, now I'm gonna add more yellow and white to blend some part here. So I think I am done guys and so far I love the result it actually looks real I like it so hopefully you get something out of the tutorial and I hope you learned something so that will be good and if you are painting me just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy while you're painting that will be great so my advice to keep, keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you want to your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. So I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn to mix and the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you so much. Please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Once again, thank you guys. Have a nice day and God bless you all.